What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay, my journey to 10,000 live listings. I apologize, my video is not working, so you guys are going to have to look at Laura today. Um, but today we are going to review um, a bunch of stores, and you know, just like our normal format, we are going to do Q and A at the very end. But today we're going to actually review some giant stores, so that uh, Laura can use her knowledge that she learned from eBay Live to tell us what she thinks of these bigger stores. So before we start. Laura, why don't we tell people um, about you and then where people can find you? Okay. Um, my name is Laura, obviously, and um, I'm known as Thrifty Boss Babe on Instagram as well as YouTube. So go check me out. Awesome. And I've linked it in the description below. We're going to go straight into sharing the screen. So let's get into it. All right. Let me just check the chat to see if it's showing up. I think it is. What's up, everyone? I just want to make sure that the screen is sharing. I believe it is. Let me just confirm. Laura, do you have the chat open? What's up, Mary? Uh, no, I do not. Let me okay. see. No worries. I think, it, I think it's up. I just want to confirm because I don't have my video working. If you guys can see my screen, um, let me know, and then we'll jump into the, um, we'll jump into the store reviews. Um, Bear with me. I'm actually going to turn my phone. No worries. No screen? Okay. Let's see if I can fix it. You are screen... It says that I'm screen sharing to everyone. Only Laura. Okay. <laughs> Hi, right. guys. Okay. I, think, I think it works now. Okay. <laughs> Is it working now? I think it's working. I'm just trying to share my screen. Okay. It's working. Uh, is it my? It should be my screen now. Sorry for the delay. Okay, it is working. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into it. Um, Laura, are you able to see the screen? Yes. Okay, so the first one we're gonna look at is Apparel Save. This okay. is a pretty large store, and they have their own HTML site. So when you go to their eBay store, this is what it actually looks like. So if you were a shopper, where would you go first, Laura? Wow. Okay. Um. Okay, go up. Probably and, where you can select. So they have two million um, feet. This is a huge store. Yeah, this is a really nice store. This looks like you would start shop. women's. I'm assuming. Yes, absolutely. Like picking your category first. Would you? Would you go? Just you're a new shopper. Where would you go first? Um, boots, obviously, right? Boots. Oh, okay. Let's buy some boots. Sounds good. Let's check out women's boots. So right away, you see two million feedback. Titanium star. That's the highest one. Um, you see, for me right away, you can see this is probably a stock photo, and then yeah. down here, these are definitely not stock photos. Right. So someone is taking this. They have twenty-one thousand pre-owned items and forty-four thousand new, so they have a mix of both. Um, where do you want to go first? This is all let's women. Let's go to pre-owned. Okay. Let's go to well, let's go to pre-owned because you know okay. that's my wheelhouse. Let's go to yeah. pre-owned. And we can see here, it looks like this number at the end of the listing, that's some kind of identifier in-house because it's the same on every single one. Mm -hmm. What, what, what um, comes to mind? Um, obviously, they have multiple different people taking photos, right? I mean, yes. you can see that not all the backgrounds are the same. That's right. So they you have, have different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And you also don't have a uniform setup. They're, they're, they look right. different. Yeah. Looks like they're doing one as the bottom and one as the the entire shoe. You can see how dark some of the photos are, even though yeah. this is this is eBay's I think current largest seller, or one of them at least. So um, you're looking at not necessarily uniform pictures, lots of different setups, and I want to take all a have white backgrounds. They do all have white backgrounds. Mm -hmm. I am going to ask you since you went to eBay Open um, to take a look at this title. And let us know right. what you think. Um, I think it's a great title, Chris. I mean, look at the setup. It, they have brand first. Mm -hmm. Then they actually have the kind of shoe that Steve Madden recommends um, for the listing, right? Mm -hmm. Then they have right. women because there are women and men's boots right? By, uh, made by Steve Madden. And mm -hmm. then they have the size and the color. So they have literally nailed eBay's specific order for titles 100 percent 
they also have a promotion going, which I just added, which is excellent. That means you can um, you can add similar items or mark down prices. Really, so the other for sale items, what other people have viewed, mm -hmm. uh, a very very short description mm -hmm. um, for pre-owned. So it looks like no description at all. Like some people put excellent or good or whatever. Right. They don't have any of that. It's completely blank. Only the photographs, and which in my opinion, are not that great. They're just average photos. What do you think? I would have to agree. I mean, you can see a lot of shading in the photos. Yeah. Um, and it's not like that stark white background. I will say that the clarity of the actual object is pretty good. Um, and I feel like the way that they have, they have their photos set up, it is pretty obvious the condition of the item. So that's nice as well. True. Um, but yeah, you're right. The background is not quite as stark white as I believe they want it to be. They do not look um, like they are. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. They use the word pre owned in every single used item. And mm -hmm. that takes up a lot of characters. So yes. I'm, I'm not. They're definitely they right not. Underneath. Do they say right under? Yeah. See, also look underneath of their listings. They have a subtitle they on every single one. Yeah, they have their promotion on every single one, which is interesting. And the subtitles, I've seen most large sellers, they probably have a deal with eBay to get a subtitle on every single one so they show up higher um, than everyone else. So you have, um, looks like they charge for shipping. So gigantic store, no free shipping. Yep. Um, they're charging a flat $8.99. Mm -hmm. um, for, so for this pair of boots, that might be less than it actually costs. But on, let's see if we can, actually all boots are going to be relatively heavy. Yeah. Um, I like this. I noticed that they do this. They put blemish in the title if there's something wrong with the item. So let's mm -hmm. see if we can find it. Oh, blemish on both, sh both shoes, tear on uppers, which is great because when you know I'm mobile, it doesn't show this description part unless you actually click into it. Right, right. So... They literally do not have any information here that's not available in the item specifics. They're just repeating it down here. Right. And honestly, I think that's really smart because I don't know how, about you, but how many customers have really read into our descriptions very often? You they know don't. What I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So it is interesting looking at this giant seller. I wonder if they sell things that are not clothing. Um, no, nope, it looks like 100% like clothing and shoes. Okay, so they do have clothing as well, though. They do have clothing. They even have kids' clothing. Let's look at women's clothing for a second because I want to see um, if they're using a mannequin or not. Okay. So we have here, um, this looks like, I think this is a stock photo. Oh, it's not. It's pre-owned. This is like a, a ghost mannequin. So maybe yeah. um, after, after the fact, they are removing the mannequin. I don't see it at all. They might even have a green screen behind. Could have a green screen. This this photo is amazing for a pre-owned item. Yeah, it is. Um, maybe they're spending a little bit more time. And again, eight ninety nine shipping. I wonder if just every single item in the store is eight ninety nine to make it easier when you're this size. You know I'm I'm sure because it. I mean, if you think about it, that's right between padded flat rate and medium box, right? So here's one with free shipping. Doing... Oh, actually, it's a different seller. Different seller. Oh. That's crazy that eBay puts other people's listings straight up on this person's listing. So um, these, oh, here we go. These are sponsored listings, which is great. This must be the promoted stuff that we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. So you pay your yeah. money, and then you get put on literally somebody else's listing. Right. So are these their listings? Let's take a look. It is. Yeah. So mm -hmm. new without tags. So they must be buying closeout and liquidation as well. Uh, sure. 1899 plus 899 shipping. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it is. So let's Especially look at their. North Face. Especially for North Face. I want to look at their feedback really quick just to get an idea. Um, they have about, so looks like I'm probably 100,000 items per month. Um, Makes sense. So just when you're doing this kind of volume, you're going to get a lot of negative and neutral just because of the name of the game, I believe. It's just that's a lot of feedback, a quarter million this year. 
Yeah, I mean, you're just the numbers alone, you're bound to get some. So one thing that's, I think, a really good thing to point out is that they've changed inventory systems tons of different times. This one doesn't even have a, a number at the end of it, right? No. And um, they don't pre, they don't, uh, they don't keyword spam. Like they just leave it empty. It could be Chris, like another six favor. words. Go ahead. Do me a favor. Let's go to newly listed. Okay. This is newly listed. Yep. See, that is newly listed. Mm -hmm. So they, you can tell also that they're not training their employees about titles, right? They have multiple people titling if they're titling them all different. That's true. When you're at this level, um, I do see that they're pretty consistent with the brand and then the type. Um, before, like, see, they put sandal at the end, booty at the end, sneakers mm -hmm. at the end. So they're going brand, type of sneaker, gender, size, color, then what it is at the very end. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. But then look at the next one. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that one same as well. Yeah, they put sandal in the end. Mm. So interesting, they have a different model. Um, it, it, it is good to know, but let's go ahead and move to the next store. This store is okay. pretty massive. We'll move to the next one, which is Phoenix Trading Company, another giant store that has its own HTML setup. Um, mm -hmm. So where would you go? This is a plus size clothing store. Um, you just landed here, where would you go first? Um. Oh wow, they sell almost everything. Home, apparel, shoes, handbags, they sell. It's a home and garden too. I'm home surprised. And garden. Wow, yeah, let's go check out home and garden. So home and garden, only 233 items, pretty small, but at okay. least they're diversifying. Yeah, you know what, um, they must get large shipments from, um, I bet from department <laughs> store and just get everything. Let's look at uh, athletic apparel for women. Wow, okay. only two. Let's just go back to the clothing. So 22,000 okay. items. Okay. Um, you can see they're not taking advantage of all the white space. Yeah. They're just yeah. cropping. Um, yeah. These photos also average at best. Yeah, I do not um, believe their photo quality is very good. I mean, look. Okay, go up. Look at that striped colorful jacket. This one? I mean, yes. Look how dark. I mean, there's so many colors in that jacket, and it's just not popping to me. You True. know what I mean? Very dark. Um, mm -hmm. And it is new with defects. Another closeout. So it looks like people buying closeouts to resell, yeah. um, which is crazy. Um, 99.4. So around 200 negative feedback in the last month or so. Um, but again, also 8,000 positive feedback. So. Right. Pretty large store, few items for sale, 20 to 24,000. We click on sold, um, 19,000. Wow, 2,000 2, sweaters. Look at how low their price point is, too. Though. I know, I'm gonna look at their feedback. So, like, pretty much nothing over $10. Wow. $20 here, 15 They're there. Just, really, really, you know. really low stuff. And all of their stuff, for the most part, is new or see how many they have pre-owned so actually 30 percent used and non not necessarily great brands no so these are all just basically they're relying on the plus size to sell it yeah and i mean at three dollar price point too at a three dollar price point what do they charge for shipping they charge eight dollars okay so, so they're going to be was, making the lighter items they're going to be making a little more but go yeah. go to a lighter item if you would chris like a tank okay. top go up to the tank top and see how much they're charging yeah so they're, same. They're, yeah so they're going to be making a little bit on shipping on those lighter yeah items. this is definitely a first class this is eight ounces or less for sure for so sure. you're looking at um you know I, i've noticed this with a lot of larger sellers they do around eight dollars shipping because i think the three dollars plus shipping sounds a lot better than 11 free shipping yeah. in my opinion and that's why it's it's like that well they're going to be drawn to that low price point in the beginning right i mean that's like right. ebay said there's not a lot of people that are going to be um you know organizing from low to high actually they i thought the maximum free. sale you could do is um 75 percent off but they have a 90 oh they have a 91 percent off how do you even do that no idea 
you must have to have a baller store for eBay to allow you to do that because I can't do greater than 75%. Because um, I was thinking about that too. If you did like anything over 90% off sounds like it's basically being blown out. <laughs> yeah, like it's basically free, right? Wow, I mean, traces of pet hair. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. So yeah, this store, gigantic. Um, they have, just want to check how many items they have for sale, 24,000. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. Um, this is recommended from Instagram. They have 837,000 items for sale. Let's take a look here. Uh, the majority of it looks like clothing. Um, yeah, great and pictures. holy crap, 100% of it is pre owned. Wow, so that's my kind of store. Yes. 800, 837,000. They do run with free shipping, which is different. Most of these larger stores don't do that. So let's. Yeah. Um, so of the three, these pictures are very superior. Very nice, absolutely. Totally different. And I think it's really important with pre-owned is that those quality pictures, because people are going to just be combing through pre-owned pictures. I mean, right. if it's new with tags, new, I mean, they're not going to be as worried about the condition as if it was a pre-owned item. So, yeah, pictures are everything. So you have both flat lay and mannequin. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, look, let's take a look at their title and then you'll let us know what you think. This is totally different okay. than the last store. Yes, it is. I'm already seeing issues, but we'll talk about that in a second. So we have H&M women's dress. So we got brand, gender, what it is. And the other store you had what it was at the very end. Um, with shoes. I don't think, I don't know if, um, was oh, that with all, with clothing items too? True. I know. Yeah, I wanted to look at that with clothing items. But we let's look at um, Phoenix Trading Company real quick. Okay, they have yeah. they have new at the end. Mm -hmm. Brand. So they have brand size second. category size. No, they have brand category size. Brand category size. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Apparel Save had brand type, then category. They put they put um, leggings at the end. Let me just pull it up again. Yeah. Let's pull it up. So you have three giant giant stores that do things different ways. They put sneakers mm -hmm. at the end. Go do me a favor, go to go to clothing. Let's see okay. if they do the same thing with clothing as well. Okay. And do they even the have shoes. clothing or is it just all shoes? I don't know. I thought all I thought shoes. Oh no, here's 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 the piece of clothing. Okay. Yeah, see, they don't even do the same for clothing, though. It's different. Wow. They, oh, here we go. They do have shirt. Yeah. The one before didn't even have the word shirt. Mm-hmm. Is this a real model? It looks like it. Yeah. <coughs> this looks like the same dude with the beard. They have, they have lots of models. Interesting. So brand, type shirt in the middle they have size at the end and so is color mm -hmm. yeah phoenix trading company they put color at the end mm -hmm. and then you have uh swapcom i mean this is way different they even they put the the material in every single title and they also put abbreviations in every single title right and which people say you're not supposed to or um punctuation yeah let's look at their feedback um so they're newer to the game. Hmm. Okay. They have considerably lower negative feedback than the other store. Interesting. Like if you look at, um, but and that must be because the the pictures are so much better. Like they have the twice as much feedback, fabulous. but like yeah. ten times more negative feedback. Yeah, their pictures are absolutely fabulous, one hundred percent. So we're looking at this. Ain't, that's a very very good picture, and only front and back. And that's interesting as well. Usually, um, you at least have like the tag on there, so buyers know what they're getting is legit. Front back. You know? uh, let's take a look at some negative and see why people were leaving negative. Uh, wrong size, basically wrong size or poor communication, hmm. which is uh, let's see, bad quality, wrong size, damaged. So it appears to be a lot of wrong fit. Right. Which is nor normal for clothing. Let's look at the other one. Uh, let's look at these guys. Why are they getting negative feedback? 
Um, not new, smelled like perfume, wrong color, extremely high shipping costs. Mm. Um, no communication. I just think when you're really large, it's kind of hard to do a good job of customer service. Not that you can't, it's just different. Um, yeah, I feel like you should also, if you have other people working your business, you might also need other people to do the customer service side of it if you can't keep up with it with that um, large of scale, you know? That's right. So we here, we this is a large seller with free shipping. Very rare to find a big a big store, in my opinion, that has free shipping because it uh, I don't it doesn't seem as profitable. But uh, four sixty free shipping. I wonder if they just stick with the front back on everything. This one only has one picture, just front. Wow, that's interesting. So speed matters, I guess, when you're getting. Yeah. Good condition, money back guarantee is their subtitle. One picture again. So um, maybe for where they um, lack in like the amount of pictures and description, they might make up for in customer service if they have a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee. You know. Down here you have a. Uh, this is the identical step to the item details. See, they have zero description. Yeah, exactly. None. They don't have anything about it. So it's two yeah. pictures. And do you want it or not? Right. And that's what I was saying. Maybe their customer service is a little better. If they're not being as descriptive as the other people in their um, item listings, then their customer service just must be very spot on. And also, no measurements. No measurements. On I any of that. these. So these big stores, not, not one measurement. Yeah, I'm sure with so, them it's a speed thing. You know? So you're looking. That, that's insane. So no measurements. Yeah. Um, one or two pictures. That's crazy. To that me. is crazy. And and it looks like, in my opinion, 100% of the pictures are Photoshopped. It's extremely yeah. difficult to get every single picture of this white. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, they could have a green screen, Chris. They, they could. Uh, or they could have a... Um, sorry, I'm a Starbucks, guys. Um, they have a, a, a bottom lit picture because... BHFL has pictures as, as good as this as well. Let's just go ahead and look at them since they're former champions of the largest eBay store. Uh, it's almost like the same company designed all these first pages. I know, right? It looks so similar. So BHFO does do, let's click and find their pre-owned products if they have any. Only 551 pre-owned. But on their pre too. they still you know? crush the pictures. They're so good. Yeah, they are very good. Um, but, but they might be um, they might be returns from their own, you know. Customer box. return with box. Wow. You're right. They don't sell pre owned, that's only their own. Whoop. Wow, smart girl. <laughs> so that's insane. They have five hundred and fifty one returns. Yeah, so any returned item they mark it as pre owned. Wow. That's that's super interesting. And um I just want to look really quick on their clothing. I highly doubt that they have um measurements because on on new clothing you usually don't have um measurements, right? Yeah. Well even on their pre owned oh they, they do have measurements. Well, I'm sure since they mostly sell, you know, new items it's pretty easy for you to go to any website that's selling their item to look up their own like measurements they are huge so that might not, but yeah that is, and they might an, have all of that already they probably have a data system where all the brands they sell all their measurements are already inputted you know that's what i mean true and, and they're doing way more volume than the other people <laughs> so really really good well, they've been around forever too, they've been around right? forever so great yeah. company they're they're doing a good job with that. And let's look at their titles really quick. Okay. Um, you have brand, then they did what I used to do is put their item number as the second number so huh. that you can read it on mobile. Yeah. Um, and they used to have, this is newly listed, they used to have only 5,000 bins. Mm -hmm. This is 8,700, so maybe they're, they've doubled the size since last time I checked. Uh, they have a bin system, but
but wow, they're in the seven thousands, eight thousands, gigantic company. Okay, let's move into more more human normal stores now. Um, more human. <laughs> more human. This lady is super super nice. Um, it's kind of cool to have your face actually in the in the in the banner. Oh, I love her red lipstick. Yeah, she's awesome. So, yeah. McElmero Corner, we have um, very very cool swag as the featured items. Two hundred and sixteen available. What do you think so far of this store? Um, I think it's definitely, you know, eclectic. I am. I really love collectible stores. I just think they're so cool. This must be her kitchen, right? She or a really, a really cool really backdrop. Cool yeah, that's definitely her kitchen for sure. But she looks like she has a beautiful kitchen. I mean. Yeah, these pictures are wonderful. I love, and she's yeah. really, really clear on the description. Pre-owned, no chips, tracks or repairs. Smoke-free environment. Smoke-free. Yeah, that's good. that's nice that she puts that up front. I wonder what five forty-seven shipping means. I don't think this would be first class. Mugs are heavy. Maybe these are small. Well, yeah. I mean, if they are um, Asian tea cups, then they probably are pretty small. That's true. Yeah. Scroll here. Look at items. So 215. Um, great pictures. Yeah. Um, yeah, the pictures are, are very good. The one thing um, I'm noticing, though, is that they're not consistent, right? Some of them are on her counter in the kitchen. Some of them have the white background. That's true. Some are um, white. Um, I don't mind the kitchen items being in the kitchen, but you're right. Consistency might improve yeah, speed yeah, here. Yeah I, don't, yeah, I don't mind the kitchen pictures. I just, the consistency of it. Here, it's so interesting. Not, I mean, only using a couple of words because they're accurate. I'm starting to think more and more that keyword spamming reduces your sell-through rate. Like this is exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you'd want to put like craft there or whatever you might put in there to, to make that boosted. So very, very cool home goods store. Not Doesn't look like any clothing. And you know, what I noticed is that she doesn't have any inventory system in her title as well, which mm -hmm keeps it clutter free which True. is something I definitely want to convert to yeah I just moved away from having the inventory um, in the title so which is very painful for me but mm -hmm. but they did say absolutely um, at eBay open um, I know you said it's to the point and that is true yeah. um, mm -hmm. but they did say that keyword optimization is important to have the longest title you possibly can Hmm. Um, I think the biggest thing is just making sure that the keywords are relative to the product in which you are selling. You know, um, if you Absolutely. have some random keywords in there that just don't make sense to what you're selling or is not something that the customer in, of the product that you would be selling is putting in the search bar, then there's no reason to put it in your title. But they did absolutely say the longer titles, the better, because it just increases your chances in search. These are fantastic pre-owned photos. Very nice, very, very nice. So Levi 501 jeans, men's 3630 straight leg. What else would you put? Um, well, first let me tell you what I like about that title. I like that um, they have a lot of numbers in their title, right? I mean, just the psyche of the human mind likes numbers, so that's immediately drawing of the eye. Um, I like that they don't have any punctuations or abbreviations in their titles. Um, what I would do a little differently is just make it um, a little more in order for what eBay said. So maybe do Levi 505 men's jeans 3630, you know, light wash, maybe put the wash in there for the color, mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, straight leg for the kind. Do you also put denim in the title? I'm sorry? Do you use the word denim? Denim? Yes, I do. Put denim in the title. Okay. Um, on on most on most of my jeans, I do. And measurements. Mm -hmm. Medium fade. 
Wow. So excellent. The only thing I can recommend for this store is just more stuff. Sell through rate's really good. 215 items and 64 sold. I don't, I mean, you, you, we don't know on the solds because of um, a lot of different factors, but um, wow, Bob Rush, Bob Ross paint set went for 109 bucks. It's amazing. Nice. Oh, I hope she thrifted this for really cheap. Um, okay, let's go to the next store. This is Ohio. O I O U. Quality goods. 269 items for sale. Okay, the so. first thing I can notice is they need a logo or some kind of picture and a um, banner. You know, yeah, a banner up top. That, that's a good point. Uh, it makes you look a little bit more professional, at least the banner picture. Yeah, um, exactly. Here we have some men's clothing in a variety of different. Um, so, okay, just a couple. So we have the straight on. Mm -hmm. We also have the side version. So I know what I like as a guy. What do you like as a woman? If you're shopping I for your man. I definitely, um, honestly, I like to see the full shot of the item in the beginning. So um, here we have what a folded version with one, the cuff. Yeah, um, I don't know if I necessarily like the folded version, but I do absolutely like that I can see more of the product in that picture. If that Agreed. Because um, I feel like with the other, okay, go up, go up. That yeah. mint blue right there, see that gives you a full version of what that actually looks like. You see the cuffs, you see the top, you see the bottom. Um, I know with men's shirts, you know, it's, it's a little more uh, structured and you kind of know what to expect. But if there's certain details about that that you want the customer to see right away, then you want that full image. Yeah, like that that Harley shirt or Harlem shirt. Yeah, it looks nice. Harlem Go Go that looks amazing. It looks That's amazing. Straight on. Straight on. So, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, because I think the straight on picture, you can see the full pattern. You can see the shape. Looks yeah. totally different. So we like that first. Also, um, I like the folded version better than this mannequin version because I can see the cuff, and that's like exactly uh, fifty yeah. percent. Here you can kind of see it on this. Like it's okay. I would still need to click into it, and hopefully he has the cuff. And yeah. Which he does. Um, yes. So I think as far as that first picture, it's the angle. You see, go to that first picture, Chris. You see the angle is kind of. Um, he, it looks like he's holding the camera up, or he or she is holding the camera up instead of holding it square to the item. Fair enough. If that makes sense. So yeah, then you can't straight. really get, yeah, instead of very straight on, you know? And then you can uh, maybe see the cuff in the bottom a little better. And you want to run some type of promotion so that this space is filled with something. Yeah, absolutely. In your store. And if you have a store, which this person doesn't know, oh, that, which they do, you can set up those promotions for free. As long as you have a store, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. and then this is my least favorite <coughs> picture. The close-up of the pattern. Yeah. Um, I definitely, I, I, I like the picture. I just don't think it should be the first one they see. True. And these pictures are are perfectly fine. Okay, let's roll. Oh, wait, let's see how many items they have. Um, yeah, and I think that their background's a little dark. If you, if if I can say that too. Background's a little dark. Like the like yeah. I like that light background much better. I like that. Yes, I like that one much better. You can um, tell it's even not the these two. That they prefer, but I do like the lighter backgrounds, for sure. Yeah, and then the folded appear to be selling well. Yeah, the so. folded and and it's because you can see get a better idea of what the cuffs the the full you know stretch of the shirt would look like and it's good to know that there are tons of sellers that have only one picture and it's this one mm. so if you're gonna go for just one picture do this mm -hmm. one with the cuff if you do if you're gonna go the speed route um, yeah. okay let's go to the next one unbroken books oh I love that top banner. yeah this is nice is yeah it's beautiful yeah. mm -hmm. um, Wow big store 3,100 items. Beautiful. 
absolutely wonderful. Love it. A lot of stock photos from mm -hmm. items, which probably saves a lot of time. And it's great because eBay said that people prefer stock photos as long as you like, if it's not brand new, you actually are having pictures of the actual item as well. Holy crap, 3,179 pre-owned. So pre-owned wow. CDs, DVDs, this is cool. So <laughs> $7.99 free shipping. Um, sorry guys, that is their seven seven nine nine free shipping. Looks like their model. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of feedback, but great feedback. Wow, this is definitely a volume game, guys. For sure. At the seven ninety nine free shipping, you're looking at two two three bucks after shipping. Um, guys, I think this is this is a cool thing to to realize too. If you use a calculator like Sales Calc. Uh, for eBay and we can go over here and just take a look at this um, $7.99 free shipping uh, $7.99 oh wait they probably have it maybe an anchor store with that level mm -hmm. so buy now $7.99 um, shipping cross is going to be 261 which is the, sh the cheapest. Oh, wait. No, shipping was free. Yeah. Cost to ship, 261 There you go. So that's $3.31 after, after all the fees. So that's a really, really low margin on these items. You've got to sell a freaking ton of these to make money. Yeah. 331 before the cost of goods sold. On, oops, before that one. Um, and is it every single DVD and whatnot that he's that the person is selling with that price? Or yeah. well, let's take a look. Two thousand five hundred and fifty-nine DVDs. Okay, go. Can you go to highest price for me? Let's see if there's different prices on it. Yeah. Okay, there's some nicer ones. Yeah. So. They are doing a little bit of research on ones that they can get a better price for, right? Which is yep. good. That's Hopefully, what I since they're all pre-owned and the buy two, get one free. Wow. That's a crazy promotion. Yeah. So you're using all the tricks and tools to sell this stuff. Um, yeah. And this is probably some kind of bulk buying process to get these. So, And you could, you could easily list 50 an hour because there's no photos. There's no description. And I these do want to see... So they don't have a photo of the actual DVD itself? Uh, no, it's a stock photo. Yeah, see, that's one thing that I may be doing differently is taking a picture of the actual underside of the DVD so people know that the DVD they're getting um, yep. is good quality. Okay, let's move on to the next one, Modern Vintage Shop. So 133, it's like somebody coming, somebody just starting. Mm -hmm. um, they're using vintage as the first word, which pretty much everybody does, but even though that's not what they say you should do. It depends. It depends on what the item is. So um, if it's not a very popular brand, then yes, you put vintage in the, in the front. If is this it is a legit popular vintage? brand... Looks like it. That is a true mom jean right there, bud. Wow. Those are nice. Mom jean, twenty nine nine. Wow, that's ex that's expensive. Yeah, they yeah they um. But first, the first thing I'm uh, can I talk about the titles for a second? Please. I would um, as far as these as far as these jeans are concerned, I believe that they have it titled right. Um, I don't like the lines splitting up the things in the title because search doesn't give a crap about lines in your title and breaking things up. Right, um, they're not searchable. And, right. Um, I do like that they put the wash. I love that they put high waist. I would say high waisted instead of just high waist um, mm -hmm. because I think people are going to be typing high waisted instead of high waist. Um, I love that they have mom jeans in there. I think it's a great... Um, 
search technique, but I absolutely would put Gap jeans, um, size 12, and then I would put vintage mom, mom jeans, high-waisted light wash. Or gotcha. I mean light wash after the size and then high-waisted vintage. Because some people are going to look at those keywords. They're, they're not going to type in those keywords, right? Mm -hmm. um, some people will. And that way you'll have it covered at the end, but not everybody are going to type is going to type in vintage mom jeans at the beginning of, of what they're searching for. They have three vintage mom jeans, but let me, um, let me see if, holy crap, 2,600 vintage mom jeans. That's a lot. Okay, so it, so it is a thing. It is a thing, but then type in Gap jeans and see what pops up. Okay. Gap jean size, what was it, size 12? Yeah. Oh, they did. Because look, it's a new listing. Brand yeah, new listing right first. at the top. Yeah. Yep. So they're going to, yep. I love the full on jean shot. Looks nice. I do too. I wish they would um, square it a little more. You see how there's a lot of space around? Yeah. Square it just a little more so it's a little tighter. But besides that, yeah, it looks nice. Um, there's a lot of reflection on the floor, though, too. So there's going to be Agreed. some white spots that might wash it out a little. Modern vintage shop. Very cool. So just so it's like it's relatively new, all 47 feedback in the last six months. So yeah. relatively new seller. Um, on this shirt, while well, they're listing as we're talking, um, I would like a picture of the full shirt. Agreed. 100% agree. Other than that, and, and also, notice in these pictures, they've got some distance because there's actually some yes. space around the item, yes. which is which looks a lot more artistic and cool, in my opinion. I don't know how they're able to do that. Do you think it's it's a, a fixed camera above or something? I think they're probably standing on a chair and taking it from up top. Oh, yeah. I take for granted my height, but I don't get that much. Let's see. <laughs> I'm a shorty. I need a chair if I'm going to do that. Shoes look fine. Um, a little bit dark. Yeah, lots of shading. Lots of shadows, mm -hmm. lights, vintage hooters. That's right. Um, camera parts. Good average sale price. Lots of expensive stuff. Mhm. Mm and then. Are we seeing? Go. One thing I also noticed too is there is not a promotion running. There's not a discount on any of their items. Um, no promotion. And then they're just charging straight up calculated shipping. Okay. I think this is definitely eight ounces, though. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I would definitely run a promotion, you know? Yeah, run something to get people's attention. And then the last Absolutely. one for today is Yeah, that percentage store. off is a big thing. That percentage mm -hmm. off is such a big thing to buyers. So this obviously, not obviously, but could be on the floor. Some people don't like that. Yeah, agreed. Um, Even though it's a nice shot. floor. Right. I mean, and you can tell with the other one, too, that it's a floor shot as well. See, I would much rather those be hung like that and just taking a square on photo. Now, I would take the stuff out of the corner of it first. Yep. At least um, and make out. sure that, yeah, and make sure that you have a square on shot of the item. Um, but yeah, I would at least have something underneath of it. Agreed. All right. So what makes this so yellow versus this lighting? Lighting, 100%. Yep. Okay. That, that one underneath might have been taken at night with just lights. True. Because look how look much like more. Right kind of this looks so dingy compared to that. Yeah. Um. And I definitely think it was taken at night, and I definitely think it was taken with the, the wrong kind of lights, light bulbs. Makes sense. A lot of hung. And I'm noticing a lot of um. Up top, those are looking a little better, but they're looking pretty far away. Um, yeah, that is interesting. 
Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely do a little bit of a closer up. Yeah, I think they should fill the screen with their product and also get the lighting better. You can also see like this is not, this is probably not a camera because it's not that crispy. Um, it may be a camera, just not the same pixels. Or as some of the or poor lighting can make a good camera and not as good. Right. Um. But yeah, the 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 pixels might just be a little low. Sounds good. All right. Well, we're gonna jump into some questions. Let me stop screen sharing, and since my camera is not working. I'll have it um, on you, oh, and I'll great. just ask you the questions <laughs> from the chat. So it okay. looks like, um, let's see, there's a direct light versus bouncing off of a wall. Have you experimented with that? Um, well, I soften, I mean, I have lights that have, you know, boxes or umbrellas on them so my lights are already pretty soft um but sometimes yeah when you shine lights direct like that yeah it will bounce off and uh, create kind of that um that whitening effect especially on black clothing like it'll get that overexposure if that makes sense okay let's see um yeah, we can do re we can do reviews. You just have to email me at 10k on the bay at gmail .com. Let's see. Where's a good place to get the banner and the logo? Did you have one made? Um. Okay. So no, I actually purchased one, but I am having one made currently. Um. I have a family member that is a graphic designer, and they are making one as we speak. I'm so excited. So everything is going to be branded the same. I cannot wait. Um, but you can um, also on Etsy even, you can, you don't have to find somebody local. You can go on X, Etsy and have a graphic designer design something for you at a decent price. Um, especially the newer graphic designers that are right out of school, they'll put ads out on um, Etsy or any of those sites where you can kind of buy services as well for people online. Um, but it's definitely worth doing. I mean, if you can brand yourself from the very beginning, if you know exactly what you want to do, then why not, right? Chris, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. You, I lost you for a second. And I can't see the chat, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, no, it is working now. Um, OK, cool. Let's see. So it looks like that is all the questions. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Laura, why don't you just where they can find you? Yes. OK, so you can find me on Instagram or on YouTube. I am Thrifty Boss Babe. And I uh, can answer any of your questions. I would love to get an ad from anybody or get a follow. Um, I would be happy to answer any of your questions. All you have to do is personal message me on Instagram or write a comment under my videos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so.